Hello, uh, Boss Destroyers. Welcome back to Nier Automata and Rocket Rabbit Commentaries Part 10. We're going to pause what was a one-way corridor to Quest Town, and we're going to fish. Commencing. Commencing fishing. Ah. <sighs> Relaxing. Any second you know, now. I've never actually gone fishing off of a bridge. That would be that would presuppose that you have an accessible bridge. I do have some accessible bridges in my town, it's just that I've never uh, actually used them for that. No There's one rather popular bridge near where I live, and now that you mention it, um, people fish there all the time. Well, I mean, when it's seasonal. Waiting for you, waiting for the bobber on top of the water to dip. Catch complete. Ooh, you actually caught a thing? No, nah, I canceled. I canceled the fishing. Oh. Okay. Okay. This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! It could be a trap. Still. We should at least head over there and gather data, right? Nina, shut the hell up. Oh, I'm just gonna ignore the items? Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for opening the door. So now we can access the village. This way. This way. Yerk. You know, jumping up ladders is actually incredibly difficult. It's easy if you try. But no, no, it is not because you uh, because a good portion of, of uh, humanoid momentum guarantees that you're going to be pushing backwards against the ladder in order to go up. I would look at it as an exercise in rock climbing. What's that? Oh, right. You wouldn't have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space after all. Huh. Um, fireworks. Okay, but why are there no spare parts or fuel in space? There definitely should be spare parts. Right. Making things that consist of materials, but where so do these materials come from? They come from Earth. Attack the bunker directly. They originally you know, for example, machine space, lubricants, right? and that no, comes from lipid compounds there. created no, from organic sure. organisms. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? Huh, lube. Range defense up. Ooh, that is useful when you know you're about to get shot at a lot for 15 seconds and you don't have improved invincibility frames. Plus one, 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 plus one. We come in peace. Oh, different style of droids. Cool. Welcome to the machine village. Welcome to Ewok Town. Population Metallic Us. I love the music track that plays here. It's very bouncy. They all have white flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. You know, because humans wave white flag when not wanting to fight. Trust anything the machines say. Why? Yeah, they got little green lights. Well, anyway, my name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. Those who reside here desire nothing more than to live a peaceful life. And once again, the game updates the identity of whom you're conversing with. Now the problem is you still definitely have the ability to as to assault these people going through here, so I would screw the section up easily. Uh, actually, you can. You you can fight these guys, so, uh... Yeah. But they're waving white flags, so... Why? Cloud, what is the, what is the default attack button? Is, um... Well, on PS4, it's square to swing your yeah. sword, and it's R1 to shoot with the pod. 
Usually okay, so I wouldn't end up shooting with uh, shooting at them, but I would end up doing melee attacks on them uh, every once in a while, yeah. and that would screw up this section. We are not your enemy. White flag nice waving. We do not want to fight. Waving the flag is fun. And left. And right. And left. And right. And left. Very good. Swing those arms. Oh. A fuel filter. That she requested. Fuel filter times one obtained. Woohoo! Yay, now we can fast travel to the peaceful village. Not yet. <laughs> You'd have to walk all the way back in order to deliver that fuel filter. Let's go find the footpath real quick. Um. I want to talk to some more people first. These guys are fun. You have makeup on. So what do you so think? So are you going to attempt to make it up to the top of the tree right now? <laughs> um, probably. Uh, I think I go up the slide once. But I was going to say, what do you think of the Machine Village while we talk to Philosophical Top Hat Man? Uh, it's very tropey, especially of uh, of the uh, older Donkey Kong Country game. Uh, but uh, uh, I do enjoy I do enjoy it certainly. It's just uh, I'm not entirely sure what else to think about it. Other than fun. Yeah, it's fun. Design is fun. What is existence? I am glad you asked. <laughs> Jean-Paul, I see. Thanks to Ball Like Machines Exposition, we have a quest in which this top hat mysterious gentleman, who is quite verbose on subjects of nihilism in existence, has many followers throughout Earth. Hey, philosophy is fun to, uh, to discuss about. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm always open except that, I mean... I mean, I, everybody applies a, applies a lens, you know, the, the quote-unquote lens of self, as, as I think it was a one particular video where I think it was a Hindu man who said that, you know, we experience nothing except through self. So, now that is if you believe in self in general, and that's another philosophical division. A genius, eh? You can rely on him for absolutely anything, and I'm actually applying an emotive uh, vernacular to this machine, even though they're all fetch machines. Fetch quest. You better believe it got a fetch quest on. Or the one, or the person you got to talk to in that location too. <laughs> no, well, they've gendered themselves. Oh, they... nobody else put that makeup on. The machines are acting strange. Stranger all the time, and now they're giving us things in order to do stuff. Okay, now save the game. Hmm, I guess... I no, you want to just... this is just relatively easy. Just go de deliver her message over to John Paul, then we can go save when we leave in order to go take down her rivals. Well, there's a thing over here. Kick chest. Speed, speed cell. cell. Improves movement speed for a short duration. Oh, yes. Oh, you don't this go is to the, the top of the tree. That is the way back. I found it. I, I finally found it. This place is mazy, but it makes me feel like I did something every time I find anything. Uh, there are a lot of interesting characters, and this is probably the most time I spend with any of them in any of the parts. Uh, like the machine family. There's Papa Machine, there's Mama Machine, and there's Junior Machine. 
Papa Machine is dressed up because he's got to go to work. That so, yeah, the robots are, become, are becoming <laughs> significantly more humanoid. That was weird machine up there. The machines are becoming something, and it's interesting, and it makes me want to keep playing. Ooh, tool shop. All right, so they put down the white flags finally. Let's do some business real quick. You have Ooh, a sachet. Game up. You have a sachet. I and need fast that. fast cooldown. Oh. Anti-chain damage. I want to buy a couple of these so I can make better versions of them by fusion. You can do that, except that you're f by using things this costly, your fused creations will be quite expensive, although they are more powerful than what you have right there starting. Now, eventually, we're going to need a copy of the HUD sound waves, right? Not necessarily sound waves, huh? I, it's one thing that I will seriously consider doing if I decide to do another campaign run of this game or just try to outright finish it, which I think would the two would line into themselves. There are a lot of unexplored elements. Hell, I mean, in all the 100 hours I put into this game, there are probably still some shit that I just missed entirely, like sound waves um, and... Right now, we are selling some useless uh, chips. Chips are rather valuable, so you should probably be selling the chips that you're not using, if only because they're worse by a little bit. Unless, of course, you suck at this game, you die all the time, and you what keep losing your chips. What about those machine cores? Machine cores also basically have no function except to make gold for you. Yeah. Or G, yeah. sorry. Ooh, there's a legendary swordsmith out in the desert. Okay. Yes, and I'm glad that my rapidly pressing the A button did not go over that rather in piece, important piece of exposition. And we will be meeting the swordsmith after we pick up just one more side quest from Cute Machine with Blue Bowl. Aw, oh, that's a Bioshock reference. Is it? <laughs> yeah, Big Sister. Yeah, I guess there is Big Sister and Little Sister. I, I nah. Oh, I mean, I mean, wait, I mean, that is when you actually see Little Sister. This is Big Sister. Big Sister is older and more responsible, and is always looking also, after Little uh, Sister. The, the bow specifically reminds me of, she uh, sure cares about her little sister, of uh, Anna. Still, it's pretty funny to hear machines talk about siblings. Do you, you mean Elizabeth? Yeah, Elizabeth, sorry. Maybe. Um, I, I guess, I guess, I, I could, I could see that, and... It's not that... I mean, her name is also Anna, so there. Uh, let's see. Uh, so that is that is a, definitely a thing right here. Uh, map screen, everybody. Uh, let's try setting a custom waypoint so I can figure out how the hell to get out of this fucking place. <laughs> well, why do you want to leave? There's persons here in a shop that we can go and spend in order to get the HUD sound waves and... Specifically, the uh, cooldown steroids. Forest people are squishy and soft. I am hard and murderous and must kill things immediately. I can't kill you guys, therefore I must take my violence elsewhere. And that is not true at all. You can kill these guys. It's very clear that these that these guys can be uh, can become combatants. Yeah, and it, and it also lends lends itself. I mean, it's not the city ruins if we it's not a box. quite a morality system. I don't, unless, I don't know, maybe that's one of the hidden endings, because as I've come to find out, Pascal's a rather important character. What if something happens to him? What if he becomes dead, and then you can't talk to him anymore? What happened, 6 -0? To be here. What's wrong? Of course she did. Uh, We're androids. Rejection. Honestly, Tubi, I don't know how I'm supposed to go on living. I am definitely not the person to discuss this with. I don't think I can stand spending one more day in this bunker. Uh, you want to come down to the, f the field with us? Would be bad for me. It would affect me. Well, that's not Operator 6 O's design. Damn Operator. it, Tubi. She's trying to be human at you. Uh, All Model B combat units require the assistance of an operator. So... To be? That's all. And, in the, and in the next part, more human advice. <laughs>